Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another amazing Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to add some water. Now, there's a couple different types of water within Left 4 Dead, and there's even some things that we need, uh, you know, in order for water in Left 4 Dead 2 to work properly. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need an environment fog controller. And in a later video, we're going to cover literally a lot about this. But the main thing that you need to do is, first off, you need to turn on fog. And we're going to have the fog start at 1,000. And it, you know what, honestly, it might help if I add an extra zero there. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have it end at uh, 4,000. Uh, no, that should be okay. Actually, no, you know, we'll just leave it at 2000. Okay, and you can change this to anything you'd like. Uh, you can also turn on fog blending, uh, use angles for fog dimension. Like I said, I'm going to make a proper video on fog at a later date, but just know that in order for water work, you need this. And remember where you put it in your map so that when we do get to that video, we can, uh, you know, do it. Okay, so the next thing, water. There's several different types of water in... Left for Dead and in Source. There's cheap water and then there's expensive water. Uh, cheap water basically just uses cube maps. It's not, um, doesn't have real time reflections, stuff like that. And expensive water does. Um, so I have a cube map here already placed. Um, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to duplicate this and move it over there. And then move it up there to match that one. And then I think I'll I think I'll throw down you know one last one over here. Okay. So we'll use that. That should create a little bit better um of uh reflections for the water. So let's go ahead and actually place the water. So the first thing we're gonna need, believe it or not, is we're gonna need the no draw, kind of like what we used for the ladder. Basically, the the no draw tool. Uh, texture basically it just um it whatever the brush is that's part of that it just doesn't draw it okay so the next thing we're definitely going to want to do here is um i want to drag this down and then we are going to want to drag this all the way over and we'll just hit enter now as you can see this really doesn't look all that nice um but we can make it look a whole lot better. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lower the grid down to four. And then I'm just going to pull it down one. And if you wanted a more shallow water, you could pull it down further. But I think I think pulling it down just... Mm, actually... Whoops. I'm trying to, trying to think here. Um, you can either pull it down or stretch it. I think I'll pull it down one more. So it's it's down by eight. Yeah, that's 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 a little better. Okay. Now the other thing we need to do is we need to select our face edit sheet, and we just want to select the top, and then we want to browse and we want to type in water. Now, anything that ends with underscore beneath, not a water you want to use, uh, but you can use basically anything else. So let's try this. Uh, hmm. Let us try this drainage uh, underscore pretty. It might work. Uh, I've had some issues with some water working before. Um, I know one that does 100% work, but uh, just want to launch this really quick and double check and see if this one works. Okay, so now we get to play the waiting game. And uh, again, keep in mind that now we have fog. So if you have a far enough view distance that's, you know, within a thousand uh, units, you will get some fog, as you can see there. Okay, no. So that water does not render properly uh, still. Oh, it does if I go like, you know, way out. But if I'm down in here, it doesn't render at all because, you know, logic dictates that that's not proper. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to swap out the texture to one that I do know that works. 
And it is, I believe it's this one, Bridgewater. Okay, we're just going to run the map here. Okay. And there we go. See, now we have some good water. Okay, there we go. So, it is not really the greatest as far as, you know, and we could, we can open up the console and rebuild the cube maps and that might generate a slightly uh, a slightly better look. Now, another really important um, thing you need to know about water within source is that you can't have um, different heights and elevations of water in the same... Um, no, that didn't really help. Unfortunately, this is the the downside to this but i mean it doesn't look that bad and we'll clean it up later of course like once we get our fog and stuff under control um but what i was saying about water you can't have so like we have water here but if we can't have water over here but you know be you, you know a different height effectively um the source does not like that at all um and so you Pretty much can't do that it will cause an error and a leak but you can have you know water of you know different heights and elevations of course because anyone that's ever played you know any like half-life or anything like that it is a thing the trick to it is what you need to do is you need to keep it in different views so you know it's different here but if i wanted you know, a different kind of water over here, and it's not in view of that, that's fine. That's, it's perfectly fine with that. Um, I'm not sure what that's about down there, but, you know, that's super fun. So, and now we have water. Uh, it runs pretty good, you know, slows us down right here, but other than that, it doesn't really do a whole lot, and of course, things are floating. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Like, water is very basic. Um, I'll see if I can't uh, get some of the other, you know, water examples working. And if I can, I will uh, I'll make a new video. I'm actually going to try something really quick while I do my outro there. This would be the expensive water. Okay. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell if you like these videos. Uh, and I just want to say once again, you know, your support is extremely appreciated. Uh, just watching the video and sharing it around, I really do appreciate it. As well, um, I also want to say that if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can, you know, leave them down in the comments below, or you can join the Discord. And if you happen, oh, this this renders. Mm, about the same really actually yeah super nice oh pretty anyway and of course you know if you'd like to support the channel you can become a member and get early access to videos and all that good stuff and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one